My name is Dakbo Ademosu. Here is my good old day story. I am always filled with nostalgia each time I remember those good old days. I look into the past with joy and gaze into the future with hopes of brighter things to come. I have many stories to tell. Was it when I followed my mother to J. Allen at Okebola in Ibadan to buy her brand new Mitsubishi Lancer car at a price of 1,310 naira? Or was it when she decided to change one of the tires of the same, very same car that she has used regularly for over three years at 22 naira? Those were interesting days when you dare not bring home a strange pencil or ruler without getting the beating of your life as if you stole a goat in the marketplace. Days at my former school, United Missionary College, Ibadan, UMC, when you would prefer to run away instead of facing a beating for losing your cortina shoes. Even though it was only one leg you lost, but still the same offense. After a school football three a side set with our monkey posts. <laughs> oh, our parents at that time certainly did not spare the rod just to ensure that we are all who we are today. We surely turned out good. Wow, life was good in those days when every naming ceremony must come with puff puff or pancake for the whole neighborhood. And each time you see those covered dishes arriving, you know that somebody is doing a naming ceremony nearby. We all rejoice because we have to share in the puff puff. And same thing goes with the Ilea meat. Every neighbor shares the Ilea meat with the neighbors. And later years, we were always excited when school vacation was approaching for possible openings in organizations for a one-month vacation job, which is supposed to train us on the value of money. And we were trained to develop a sense of responsibility and a culture of savings. How can I forget growing up with Kolo in my possession, which now all the children call piggy banks? That is, if any child has a piggy bank anymore, every child had one those days. Sadly today, the narratives are different. Wealth acquisition mentally has taken over the drive for relevance. Even those with no visible trackable jobs have become role models of some sort, rolling out stocks of followers on the internet with no visible means of income or revenue that can always be substantiated. And I stop to think, why can't we have a brighter future that will be better than those good old days? Can we change the narrative? Yes, we can. Our children deserve a brighter and a better tomorrow not a good old days because that is gone forever but we can still build on the future with discipline foresight and perseverance let us make the difference now for the sake of our children's tomorrow today i join shemore in his collective drive towards a greater tomorrow thank you <laughs>